The University of Otago Wellington is part of the Division of Health Science and uh, it's quite a large school so we have nine departments that cross a number of specialities. We have over 60 PhD students on our campus and offer a number of postgraduate courses at postgraduate diploma and certificate and uh, master's level as well. Our PhD students are, some of them are based on campus, um, but we have a number of distance students as well. Our research students come from a range of different backgrounds. We have a lot of people from health professional backgrounds, so we have physicians and medical students. We have nurses and allied health professionals doing PhDs with us, but we also attract a lot of uh, social science students who might be doing work in public health or primary care and GP practice, or they might be doing work in medical areas. And we also uh, have some students who come from a uh, basic science background who might end up working in um, surgery and anaesthesia or child's health or other areas like that. My name is Philip and I'm doing a PhD in human physiology. And what we're looking at in particular is the regulation of blood flow to the brain. So what things influence how stable and continuous the blood going to your brain is. The brain's very sensitive to even a temporary disruption in blood flow. So we really need to understand what factors drive it and then in a disease state, how can we manage those factors to make sure your patient's got continuous smooth blood flow to their brain. Wellington's a great city to live and study in. My PhD itself is very useful, it's a very good uh, important block into launching a career in research. Wellington in particular is um, very strong with its health research, both um, biomedical research that I'm doing, as well as other disciplines like public health. So I'm looking at risk factors for strep throat, and strep throat is quite important because in some children it can go on to cause rheumatic fever, and that can be really bad because it damages the heart and need 10 years of horrible injections to stop the heart damage from happening. So I want to know why some children are at greater risk of getting strep throat than others. There's been quite a lot of interest from the Ministry of Health because rheumatic fever is a priority for the government. So I've been approached by them and we've talked about how my research fits into the scheme of things. My supervisors are also really good at letting me know of other similar research projects going on overseas and just from reviewing the literature I can see how my research would fit in so that's really good at giving me some perspective and also thinking about where I might like to work or what I'd like to do after I finish my PhD. Up in Wellington it's great because it's quite a small campus so um, there's not too many other people around but there's lots of resources and there's also lots of support staff so if you run into an issue there's always someone around who can help you out or maybe quite a few people and there's also lots of resources down at the library or online and lots of people to show you how to use them so that's a real advantage. Also I really like living in Wellington because my parents are here and my friends from high school and some new ones as well, so it just makes for a really good lifestyle up here. My PhD is about people who come to emergency departments with intentional self-harm, but they also present for another reason within a short time frame. And what I'd like to know is, you know, is this group at higher risk of dying or serious self-harm compared to people who just present with self-harm? For me, it's, it's very handy being next to the hospital because I still work in the emergency department. I noticed that I've changed as a nurse. I used to be you know, a nurse, I come to work, I, I go home. But now I'm much more questioning and um, wanting change in the emergency departments and knowing how, how to go about it by saying, OK, so what about we do some training in mental health and getting other services involved. I am much more in the position of making it better for people. It's important for um, students in, on the Dunedin campus in particular to know that um, there are northern campuses that are, that are well equipped to um, provide supervision for um, PhD studies. And for a number of people, life takes them north of Dunedin for a whole range of reasons, family and relationships and, and, and so forth. Um, and so uh, if people are wanting to continue with their academic um, career and they're wanting to develop a, a research qualification arm um, to that 
academic career um, and they are um, coming north, then, then Wellington is certainly a good place to look for uh, research experiences.